Hi everyone, and welcome along to Peter's Reviews. I'm sorry it's been a little while since I've released the video, but today I'm back, and I'm back with a, a new manufacturer I'm working with. The company's name is Windigo, and they've been good enough to send me this new a B3 model, which is actually an e-scooter. A, so it has a, an accelerator that powers you along up to a 20 kilometers an hour. A, it has 12 inch wheels and it actually has a disc brake as well on the rear. So it's a real fun little thing. So we're gonna dive into that and see how that all looks. But we've also got this little box here, which is a conversion kit that lets you uh, convert this e-scooter into an e-bike. So it comes with the pedals, uh, the sprockets, all the bits you need to convert this into, and the chain obviously, to convert this into a little e-bike. So we'll be doing the unboxing video first. We'll make sure it's well packed, well put together. We'll talk you through all the components as we build the bike, show you how simple it is to put together. And then after that, we will look at making a, a separate video on how to convert this little scooter into an e-bike. So let's get started. So like I said, it's very important to make sure that the, the bike itself came undamaged in the box before you open it up. And thankfully the FedEx guys that have brought this along to us today have done a good job. So let's get the tapes cut off it here and start making our way inside the box. Okay, let's have a look inside the box. You can see it's well packaged there well put together, nothing's moved inside the box. Lots of polystyrene, lots of bubble wrap holding in place, lots of extra packaging on the top here. So let's begin to unpack this little, little bike and take a look what's inside this accessory box. Okay, we have a little accessory box. Let's go through that first. Okay, right at the top, we have a, the mud guard. A, so we'll get that fitted, if I believe that goes on the, I think that may be the front wheel one, we'll soon see. Next up, what have we got? We have, so we've got the pegs here for the for your feet when you're riding. And it looks like we've got the battery charger and the, the plug in, the plug and an allen key, which we'll need at some point through this. So we'll be using the tools supplied to build this bike. So we'll stick that down there. Next up, well, that's quite impressive, that is. A, let me just pull the cover off it here. So you can see it's quite a soft seat. It's a very comfortable seat and it's a sprung loaded seat as well. Because this bike doesn't have suspension as such, that is really going to help. So yeah, pretty impressed that they've given us a really good saddle to start. It saves you doing any modifications later on. So yeah, we'll get that stuck on as soon as possible. And that's our accessory box emptied. So next, we will look at getting the bike out, bike out the box. Okay, let's get out of the box. And it's important we take our time, make sure we make, don't make any mistakes and scratch the bike after it's been looked after in the box so well. So we'll slowly just get a good grip of the bike. And see if we can work it out slowly. And because it's quite a smallish bike and it's not that heavy, it's quite easy to get out. Okay. I'll just put the kickstand on it. Actually, I'll spin it round so you can see the kickstand. And I'll come down to the bike level. So let's get the little pieces of packaging off it now so we can have a really good look at this bike. So we'll begin by removing everything we can see packaging wise. It's very well protected, as you can see. So I'm pleased at that. So let's take these front pieces off. You can see where damage points or crunch points might be. They've really thought about that, so that's great. So here we have a little stopper in the top for the seat. We'll just remove that because we're going to put the seat on shortly. Okay, the next thing to do is to flick the handlebars up. I'll just turn the bike for you so you can see that. And just before we lock it, we'll remove the other protective pieces, which is great. So that's fine. And then we just press the lock in place. And that's your handlebar stem locked in place. So let's move the bike back round. And we will look at 
securing the seat for the bike. Okay, when you fit in the seat here, you just slide it in the top and then we will secure it using the quick release lock. You can adjust the height to your height. So I'll just go for that just now. And then I will just tighten the quick release a little more. So one more turn, I think, just to make it super secure. That's perfect. And that's it lined up properly as well. So one of the last things to do here is to fit the foot pegs. So let's get them unpacked and take a look at them. They're quite solid and hard and obviously they have threads on them. So if we just lean over, screw this one on. All the way up tight. And then tighten it up. There is a hole in there. So what you could use is your Allen key. Just push it in there. And then you can pull down on that just for one more little quarter ton to make it tight. And I just spin the bike round. We'll do the second foot peg. So here we have the foot peg here with the threads on one side. Once we get it tight, we can then use the Allen key again just to give it that extra little turn. There we go, that's very secure. So how's that for a build? What did that take? Five, 10 minutes? <laughs> so let's have a quick look at the front here. We'll have a look at the, the front end. So we've got the handlebars here. Now you can release these as well and you just want to turn them so that you have the brake, the brakes at the right level for you and you have the little LCD screen at the right level. Okay, here we are at the top end showing you the, the handlebars and the control buttons that we have on the display here. So if we first start with the on off button there and just below that you have your your horn which we'll test in a second. Then we'll come across to our LCD display. We'll just remove the plastic film for that and the plastic film on the, the handle grip there. And then we can see on this side we have a light switch for the lights which we are controlled front and rear. Just show you a second. So like I say, it's not fully charged, but we'll just whip the bike on quickly and then move over to the small display. And you can see it's showing three bars at the minute. I'm sure it goes up to four, maybe five when it's fully charged. And if we just come down here to the horn, we'll give it a quick blast. That's going to scare a few people. <laughs> Next up, we have a light switch. So we'll just turn that on now. And then we'll move down to the front light here. You can see that came on. That's very nice, very bright. And if we move to the rear of the bike here, we can see we have a rear light as well. And in the dark, I'm sure that's going to light up quite a lot. Okay, last up to fit is the rear mudguard. The front mudguard, as you can see, comes free fitted. All you have to do with the rear mudguard is use the Allen key supplied to slacken off the existing screw that's in there. Remove it completely, including the washers. And then along the slider that it gives you there. And I think you're in a very good place there to, to nip the, the screw up. And your mudguard is now in place lined up and looking good. Let's have a walk around. Let's have a look at all the components on this bike and give you a closer look.
you may have spotted in the center here, you know, this little carry handle and it just lifts like so. And there's not an awful lot of weight in that, I'll tell you. It's not bad at all. So talking of weight, you would probably want to uh, put this in the car from time to time. I can see this being used by commuters a lot. I can see commuters driving to the edge of the city, parking up somewhere free and using this to do the last mile or two into town. It's so small when it folds up, you can just drop it in the office. So let me show you that. So with the handlebars, you just pull the release, drop the bar, down she goes. And then you would naturally just uh, pull the seat post lever, pull the seat off. And then your bike is good to go in the back of the boot or on the back seat, you know, it's really that small. I think you take it to the office, up the stairs, and then straight into the office, just tuck it away out of the way till the end of the day. And end of the day, come back to the bike. Oh, throw your handlebars back up, lock them in position, grab your trusty little seat, slide it down in, into the channel, and to set your height again, and then just lock your seat post. You're ready to roll. All over okay, again. let's dive into the specification of this bike. And let's start with the, the motor. It's a 350 watt motor, so that is going to be a strong motor for the size of the bike. That is really going to push you along. Next up, our battery is a 36 volt, 6 amp battery. So that's a that's, that's quite a good size battery for this size of bike. So that's going to take you, and they say it will take you from anything from up to 17 kilometers, which is about 10 and a half, 11 miles. Now that's dependent on weight and, and riding conditions and things like that as well. The carrying weight, they say, is up to 120 kilograms, which is 246 pounds. Okay, our wheels and tyres in this little thing are 12 inches in size. The wheels and the width of the tyres are 2 inches. They look like street tyres to me, but they look like they could handle a little bit of the gravel tracks and that as well. The bike does have a rating for a, its waterproof performance, and it's an IP4 rating. So just following on from all that, I just, I'm just looking at the, the bike itself. You can see that all the cables are well tucked away. They go actually go through the frame and really tidy out the road. There's no extra cables lying about. There's no areas where corrosion and water could get in, you know, over time. I think it's been very well thought out. It's a, a nice looking little bike. It's going to be a fun little bike. A, some people may say unusual, but I think once you get on it and you're using it, it's a daily commuter or just a fun bike at the weekend just to get out there with the kids. This is going to be something that hey, not only the adults are going to enjoy it, I think your, your, your young kids are going to want to jump on and have a go as well. Okay, you can see this little scooter is probably the, the lead in a scooter that Windy Goo do. Uh, they have asked me to review this like I've done today, but they will be sending me other products to review in the future. So in the back, off the back of that, I've actually set up a, a Facebook group. It's the Windy Goo Owners Club. So uh, there will be a link below that you can all click on that. Come along. If you want to learn a little bit more about these bikes, talk to the owners, see what they think of them. Or if you're already an owner, why don't you come over and share your experiences and tell us how you get on with these bikes and how you use them. We would love to see your pictures on your ride out days. We would love to see you if you use it as a com commuter bike eh, or just a fun bike with the family at the weekends. So that's the, the Windgoo eh, Facebook page, which is Windgoo Owners Group. So please come along. Eh, there will be a link in the description below. Okay, before I go, I said at the beginning, I have a conversion kit for this little B3 e-scooter to become a B3 e-bike from Wingu. So this conversion kit costs around £60 on the site and there you get the pedals, the chain, the sprockets, everything you need to convert this little uh, scooter into an e-bike. So that was my next little project. Really looking forward to getting this on here. Uh, it's a fun thing to use as it stands, but I also want to see how it looks. And how it feels for only 60 pounds extra and you convert it into an e-bike it's, it's a no-brainer i have to give it a go so that'll be my next video look out for that that'll be coming soon there'll be a link just up here okay. just before we go if you enjoyed this video today and there will be more from wind goo coming in the coming months please uh, give us a like make sure you subscribe make sure you come along and join our facebook group uh, set the reminder bell so that next time I release a new video, uh, you'll get a reminder that that video has just been released. Uh, the more people we can get on to the channel, the more we can share our riding experiences. 
uh, with these new products. Really looking forward to getting out in this one and the future bikes that Wingu have planned to send to me. So thanks again for watching and bye for now.